Real quick, I just wanted to share. It's so amazing when I go on runs or walks, I always usually get an idea or perspective or something that I that I feel inspired by. And this actually just happened. I was running and I ran by somebody that was by their car. And I noticed that my my posture of how I was running slightly changed. Like I went a little faster. I, I, I had looked a little bit more focused, like I zeroed in more when, when there was more eyes on me. And I was like, wow, why is that? What just happened right there? Like, so I was thinking about it as I continued to run. I'm like, why did I change who I was? Why did I change my flow? Why did I change my energy when somebody else noticed me for a second? Great question. So I started uncovering that some, and it led to this sort of like lesson that I that I wanted. I'm figuring it out on the spot. That exerted energy. It was like wasting my energy because I was trying. I was trying to fit into this image of I'm I'm the runner and you're watching me and I'm supposed to be fulfilling this determined running person. It's like to hold up an image which exerts energy. I was like, wow, like, wouldn't it be nice to just surrender and relax and just continue regardless if everyone's watching or nobody's watching, just to like stay in your lane, stay in your flow, not exert extra energy? Because like, ultimately, I think that energy of me trying or someone trying to, to uphold an image, ultimately slingshots. It's like the ego climbs up these imaginary ladders to uphold an image. They try to like go up to the top of an imaginary mountain and plant a flag. And then when it, the house of cards falls, it's a tough fall down. And the ego loves to do that. It loves to climb up on pedestals and then it realizes it can't stand there and so it falls back down. And it's like, how many times do you wanna get up and fall, get up and fall, get up and fall, and eventually we wake up. And we're like, wait, there's an easier way. I don't attach to things. I don't try, try. Now, when I say the word try, I think there's some distinctions there, which I was also thinking about, so try. I think we can have intentions, set intentions. I want to go for a run. I know that would be good for me. I'm going to exert effort, you know, willpower, choice. But then it's like, at the same time, we can work together with the, the universal flow, like the river. If you're in a river, floating down a river as an example, a lazy river, you know, if you're on your back, you could float with it, with exerting no effort, that's not trying. Or you could swim against the current and that would exert a lot of energy just for what? You, you surrender. This is interesting. So what does this mean? What, what else needs to be said right now? Getting out to nature is super important. Being off your phone is so important. Reminder to myself. Um, it's like, if we looked at the time in nature versus the time inside on technology, if we look at that, that balance, I feel like a lot of us, myself included, don't have that balance quite, quite right. Me going on a quick run outside, not being on my phone for just a minute, it's like, oh my gosh, look at all these ideas I'm learning. So maybe the challenge or the, the thing that I want to leave this video with is when you notice yourself trying to do something, how I notice myself trying to, to uphold some image as the runner through the neighborhood, it's like, wait, wait, I don't need to protect or prove some image of me running. Like, I was totally fine minding my own business for 10 minutes and then for 10 seconds I decide to exert extra energy to uphold some imaginary image for what it's just wasting energy <laughs> ah we have so much unlearning to do all right breath works also fantastic that's all for now folks bye so i decided that i gotta leave the original the heart in me has hardly been 
to give you a quick brief update, um, there's a couple things I'd love to share with you if you're watching this. I just added to my website a new page called The Next Step. And if you're interested in just talking out loud with somebody, uh, I set it up so my calendar's on there and you can book a 15, 30 minute window with me to just talk out loud about your dream, like what your what direction you're heading in, like what ideas you need to talk out loud about, whether we go spiritual or just talk morning routine or books or just have a fresh perspective, somebody to talk to, sometimes I find can be a helpful catalyst to get the ball rolling. So I wanted to offer that as just a space for more connection to be had, more momentum to be built. So if that interests you, I'm doing it all donation based because I genuinely just want to do it. It sounds fun to me. I love to talk about these conversations. So.